amphitheater is um, inspired by an actual Greek amphitheater in Sicily at Segesta. Sicily was a colony of Greece, and some of the best examples of Doric order architecture are there. Um, there's location is high up on a on a hill overlooking a spectacular view. The Greeks had it down when they had the idea of placing architecture in nature. In the below this amphitheater is a temple. So there's just really two things at Segesta, the temple, and then you look up and there's an amphitheater high on a hill. Um, I had attempted to paint this amphitheater a number of times and was defeated each time, so I decided to, again, make a um, fetish sculpture thing. Um, this is, after all, uh, for my afterlife, perhaps. Um, performances are given here by me to all my friends and anybody who's interested. Um, Something that seems to have occurred where there's a practice mirror, um, some blood on the, on the center stage area leading up into the stands. Um, perhaps a Christopher Marlowe play or something. Um, on either side, <clears throat> the right and left, uh, over the millennium, various teenagers have come in to drink beer and um, have bonfires that sort of rival rival groups shout insults at each other which uh, you know it's part of the deal I suppose somewhere along the line uh, some quasi fascist organization took this over you can see their emblem which apparently was a red and yellow wing um, we try and keep the place relatively clean, or, but things do tend to fall apart and nothing really ever does get fixed. Um, coming around the back, you can see that there's ample parking, um, free parking, plenty of free parking, uh, and uh, there's a entranceway for skyboxes for the high rollers. Um, and this is pretty much how I remembered it, and how I will remember it, and how I am remembering it. There's location is high up on a on a hill, so there's just really two things at Segesta: the temple, and then you look up, and there's overlooking an the a temple is you, um, a temple where there's uh, I can be worshipped. A lot of activity going on. Um, there's various tour groups which enter through an one side. Um, commitment. This is a utopian place. Uh, everything exists in harmony, perfect harmony. However, tourists are encouraged not to wander too far away from the official guides because there are, of course, certain dangers that uh, are unavoidable. Um, there's the sacrificial lamb uh, and also large bonfire occurred where there seemed to be some burning of an old VW. Um, there are, um, every, everything here is animated, comes to life, if you will. Um, the uh, larger, we call them uh, sculptoids, uh, these are an inanimate uh, object worship unpainted. Supposed magical powers. Figures, or because it is considered to, describe it, to be um, inhabited by a spirit. As swift a as the smaller sexual. figures who are actually the ones that seem to be somewhat in control if there is any kind of hierarchy. Uh, workers are, are supervised and uh, there's continuous uh, activity for the uh, uh, ever-present uh, 
decay so that, which uh, is incurring he always kept up otherwise oh, things could two really type fall ropes apart across which depict curiously a figure that reminds me of my father so he's going one way and then the next um, and uh, let's see pairs of it's fairly Darwinian it appears There's pairs of insects and pairs of lions and so that there is a notion of procreation I assume a course of action to which one has an excessive and irrational commitment. I mean we get thousands commitment. and thousands and thousands of visitors so that has to be see, uh, taken care of at some point. Exhibition, recent paintings and past exhibitions but pretty much mine, everything um, is I have uh, no idea put on here which why uh, or when or what for or I do have an idea of why, when, or what for, but I'm just not telling you anymore. Well, this is um, time to end fantasy and deal with reality here, folks. Uh, sometimes realism is not a pretty thing. See the drive-in uh, movie theater. See the drive-in uh, movie theater modeled after an existing drive-in in Cousin Valley, Connecticut. So I actually stopped one day on my bike and kind of did a mental note. But I had also done a painting for a show at Williams College Museum of Art called Hometown, Hometown Drive-In when I grew up with a uh, sight of much bad behavior by most of us in high school. It's kind of a hierarchy too. You can see the yuppies are all in front with their Volvos and stuff and then we got the sort of oddball people that own the exotic European cars and then the, kind of the greasers are back here and then the guys in the trucks, uh, vans, poor school bus kids, man. I wouldn't want to be a kid in the back seat. You wouldn't be able to see a thing. Drive-ins are... And then, of course, we got uh, the hippies have, uh, over Family here members and, and then deviant Looks teenagers. Looks like the cops so have come in because they're following this suspicious It's both wholesome truck. and wicked at the same time. Who knows? Maybe could have terrorists um, in it. And, of course, being shown is uh, the other side of ugly, which is, of course, Matisse. One of the few artists that just cl closed his door to everything and just decided to make his statement on the world by making beautiful things. When you think about the time that he lived and all the passages of history and the dawning of eras and wars and depression and science, it's pretty amazing. There's no real inclination of anything ugly in his work. Whereas Picasso made some co colossally ugly works. Um, there's the abbey or cathedral, uh, which is modeled after Bolton Abbey in Yorkshire, but it sort of represents Western culture after maybe World War II got a hold of it or even uh, Oliver Cromwell, so it's not a, a new thing necessarily. Um, there's Jesus on the cross. And then there's the uh, oil rig, which actually is, you can see them in downtown L.A., mostly in Texas. It's kind of a um, uh, hard thing to work around the advent of the military, but um, we're working on it. In the, in the, in the old days, days, we didn't we used to have to have the military have around, around while we were producing, we were producing but they're sort of, sort of in the way, but we're working on it, um, working around it. Down below, of course, is... Uh, big trucks coming and going with loads of stuff. Going with loads and of stuff. minaret, which um, actually I had done a painting of Disneyland in California of Mickey's castle. Which was modeled after Mad King Ludwig's Neuschwanstein, which of course then was taken over by Walt Disney and made in California and then of course Florida. And then it was exported back to France where there's Euro the, uh, Disneyland. Tower in 
fantasy castle. Soviet MIG is passing, very, uh, making a surveillance sweep on the whole operation. Um, and uh, also, maybe he's just going around and around like a tether ball. Of course, there's the too sure uh, which way he's going. Soldier. Again, uh, tipping my hat to the Doric Order with the Doric Column.